Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where thanks to these marvelous monkeys, we have actually been able to greatly expand how nice our zoo looks in a spot. I am so relieved. I have been feeling really bad about our place not looking as nice as it should, and now it's really looking fantastic. We even retrofitted quite a bit of the area where we're trying to get our curious crossbreeds crossbred, and I'm ready to move out the fancy geese so that we can go ahead and inspect instead work on some of the other creatures that we want to be breeding up. Let's see, we've got some bunnies on the way. We're still trying to crossbreed like some of the very last bunnies and we are trying to go ahead and snap, oh, oh, do we have, do we have, oh, and we're trying to go ahead and snag ourselves a new type of monkey as well as the hyena. I think the hyena are actually breeding somewhere. Yeah, right over here, the hyena are almost done. Look, and they had another one of the fancy striped hyenas. Yes, we're definitely doing a good job of managing to unlock a few of the new animal species. And in fact, in order to do that, we do need to be checking in. <gasps> There's a new type of monkey. Yes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get the new type of monkey. And we're going to plunk it right down in here. I'm so excited about this. It's so much fun to see how we're like unlocking new creature after new creature after new creature. And I have started to dream about my favorites, the giraffes. I can't believe we haven't unlocked the giraffes yet. So I think we're going to come over. All right, we can see what kind of habitat the animals need. We're gonna come over and we're gonna start like maybe adopting some of these special trade animals and trying to unlock some of their genome because unless we complete the quest with these zoos, we don't get new animals offered. So we definitely need to go ahead and start actually making progress on this. So I think we need to get the porcupines. So I think we need porcupines and ducks out of the way. And let's go ahead and grab the ducks and we're just gonna put them next to the special, let's see, let's grab, we'll grab Mary Jane the duck. That sounds wonderful. And we're going to trade Mary Jane for some ducks. They love water. Please look after them well. Totally will, Toronto Zoo. Because we do have a good exhibit. We can, in fact, we could put them in right here with the geese if we wanted to. They would feel a little threatened by the geese, but the geese are about to move, actually. Because we're going to build the fancy goose exhibit down here. So let's go ahead and get that started so that people feel like they have some fancy geese that they can come down and see while they're walking past the graveyard. Just a few of the extra animals available in this area. There we go. It's not going to be like a huge, huge exhibit because I don't think we need to have too many animals in here. Let's see. Let's do this mossy shelter at the back. And then we need to make sure that they have some water okay the fancy geese need a better exhibit than this what the heck siri yeah we're gonna be here we go i was gonna put some snakes back here too but i actually think this would be really pretty if it was just for like the fancy geese that come up along the graveyard all right and let's edit this enclosure a little bit more no 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 not the enclosure sorry about that we're going to no 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 View objects, mossy shelter, move. There we go. And we're gonna make this nice for our geese. All right, we're gonna need to get a new water basin in here somewhere. Totally fine, we can handle that. Some enrichment. I wanna keep the, <gasps> the leaf piles. Animals like to hide in the leaf pile and have fun. Oh, I love that idea. We also have a water sprinkler that the geese can play in too. Holy cow, that's adorable. All right, and we'll add in the scent marker as well. I think I'll go ahead and put it over here. Hopefully everybody will be able to reach it. And I think that'll be good for goose level enrichment. Let's see how many decorations I can sneak in without making it too crowded. Because I do want our geese to have like a nice place to be with big tall trees. Ooh, popcorn stall is selling record numbers. That's wonderful to see. And then like maybe a big tree over, if I put it here, they can still get around. All right, we'll put one there. And then maybe like one big tree over here with a couple of flowers. And then we'll move our geese in just a second so that they can come down and be part of this, this little memorial garden because they're very fancy and pretty. So I thought they would be appropriate fits. All right, there we go. Just enough pieces. I hope that's big enough. 
It's got a lot of space and we only need to keep like just one mobile population of our fancy geese. And we can, oh wow, there's a lot of males. <laughs> and we'll keep a female and a male and then otherwise, oh good, there's plenty of space. The geese don't mind being packed in tight, it seems. All right, the geese happy here. Oh, we just need to get the water and then the food. Oh, and apparently we can trade one of our pigs. All right, hang in there guys, let me get your water. But that will free it up so that now we can have ducks in the breeding facility where we're trying to unlock new types of ducks. All right, let me put a water pump down back here, actually. I can hide that perfectly. And we can go ahead and upgrade it so maybe it'll suck up the methane from this thing. There, look! Oh, and they're playing in the leaf pile! Oh, that's so lovely. There, and now even though it is still a very a very humbling place to come and visit. And even though it is still sad, we are now getting, um, there we go, we'll get the grass down here. We're now making our graveyard area a little bit nicer so that people can come and pay their respects to the animals of the past if they so wish. Uh, do I wanna get some wood along here? Yeah, we'll put wood down so that it's clear like it's a designated area separate from the graveyard. There we go. See some nice grass there. And then we can even get some cobblestone, maybe along here. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, cobblestone, cobblestone. There we go. So it's clear that like this is where the graveyard begins. See, I feel really proud about that. It was kind of a weird build to do, but now I feel like our incinerator isn't quite so terrifying. And we have a way for people to come and just pay their respects to the animals who used to be part of our zoo. Here we go. Move those bushes. And we made our very own mock hedge fence, thanks to those amazing bushes. And we've moved the geese, which means we can move on in our area. Uh, and I wanna put another shop. Actually, I wanna put a subway down here. I was thinking it'd be really cool to be able to fit a subway right here and a subway up by our monkeys. So speaking of subways, Let's jump in and see what we can unlock, friends. We have a few different subways, like the animal-themed subways we can unlock. Um, and then I think there's a couple more. Like there's another one over here. There's, <gasps> there's a log! We can have people sit on logs! Oh my gosh! Okay, that would be really fun. Um, let me unlock the animal-themed subway before I forget, though. And forest enclosure so we can get different types of animals who like the forest. Okay, that's a necessity to unlock. And a high striker animal enrichment. <laughs> that's probably perfect for some of the stronger animals that you can get. Oh gosh, I love how much stuff there is to research. Even though we have like two top tier researchers. All right, should I have like a normal boring subway? Should I wait for the, the people to unlock the other subway? Hmm. Let's put a shop over here, maybe like an info kiosk, because this this apparently keeps people from leaving our facility. So maybe it would be good to have like an info kiosk that people can learn more about the animals that of the past here. Um, or, oh, a cafe! Yeah, I think like it would be a good idea to have a cafe somewhere in front of the the graveyard so that you can come and you can pay your respects by by getting a coffee i guess it actually fits in really well right here and that would be like next to the the subway so let's add this in and we have a new monkey variant yes okay this person this person really sucks because they actually are very impolite and they they're not very good at their job so we're gonna try to find another person to come work at the cafe all right, there's that. And then while we wait for the subway to get unlocked, let's come see what the tasks at the office, the management office, have been fulfilled. I can't wait to move everything around. Apparently something has, but I don't know what it is. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I'll keep an eye on this. All right, I'll come back to you. Uh, but now we have geese. Oh, we have all the two goose in here. I still have two goose. Okay, so we do need to move Bucko and we need to move Nikki. And I'm gonna move them into the main goose exhibit. There we go. And now we have some ducks that are hopefully going to make us some baby ducks. I think we can actually go ahead and adopt ducks. 
I was pretty sure, okay, with no ducks available at the moment. We can rescue another monkey though. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, well, we'll have to look into that in just a second. Uh, but let's see, what other animal do I wanna put in on this side? This is right now a forest habitat. Are there any animals I can adopt? <gasps> we can get some horses. We love horses and they love apples, but did you know wild horses actually no longer exist other than the Przewalski horses, if we're gonna talk about that. These came from Mongolia. Well, and that's debatable because a lot of people say that the Mongolian wild horses, the Przewalskis actually have a lot of DNA from more modern variants, but that also is kind of debatable because does that mean that we're looking at just genome or are we also looking at phenotype and behavior? But we'll talk more about that later. We're getting wild horses, you guys. Let's do this. We're gonna trade Shaggy, our female striped hyena, our very first one. We're gonna go ahead and do it because now we have horses, of course. Horses can sleep standing up. Imagine that. Well, it's so cold here sometimes. I wouldn't want to lie on the ground, would you? Have fun with those stunning stallions. Nice, and now we have horses. Okay, let's go ahead and add in the objects that they are going to need. That's so much fun, guys. I can't believe we have horses now. All right, let's put in a shelter because the shelter helps the animals to live longer, which makes me very happy. And then we're gonna put in some enrichment for the horses. Um, I love these leaf piles. Like I think all of our animals are gonna have a big old leaf pile to be able to play in now. And for horses, let's put in some large balls. They don't need cliffs, they're horse. But let's put in like a couple large balls for them to be able to play with. Cause I think that would be really fun. And then maybe like the trampoline, maybe to show off like their jumping skills. All right, we'll put this one in too. Oh, and there's a new applicant at the coffee shop. Yes. Let's add some decorations because we've got horses. I'm very happy about that. And we'll put in some long grass for the horses as decoration because I feel like that's really fitting. There we go. And maybe like, I worry about flowers cause I know you're supposed to be really, really careful at what actually goes into like a horse's field so they don't eat something that will make them sick. Oh, my money. Oh, we have a lot of money guys. Yes, we're doing really good on that. Nice. All right. A thousand people arrived at our, our park. That's amazing. What tasks am I fulfilling? Who knows? We'll find out. All right, meanwhile, we have our cafe applicants. Let me search for somebody better. Okay, wait, gotta get out of the management office. All right, view. Politeness low, work at the Kai. Politeness low, work at the Kai. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hire Eddie. He's actually a level 27. Yeah, he's a higher level guy and we can increase his salary a little bit. That will make him more polite. We're not gonna close the position. But we are gonna go ahead and we're going to actually fire Ashley. Sorry, Ashley. We're gonna go ahead and we'll, um, we'll pay her her severance as well. And then we'll hire the other good person for this job, which politeness is low, but work ethic is really high. And I can work with that because you can increase politeness if you pay them well. There we go, close position. And we now should have some fantastic people working at the cafe. Yay! All right, and speaking of the cafe and wanting to get people to it, how much more for... Oh, I did unlock the animal themed subway. Yes, all right. And then there's also a, another themed subway down here that we can unlock at 17. But I can go ahead and unlock the animal themed subway. Oh, nice! Oh, this one's a little bear subway. Oh, we could get bears at some point, you guys, at a rock subway. Nice, nice. I kind of feel like the normal subway is fine for over here. Subways are essential for larger zoos and allow your staff, your staff as well. <gasps> we need to go ahead and we need to put the subways all around the place for the staff. I had no idea subways helped us out with the staff too. If I had known that sooner, I would have completely retrofitted like this whole area. I truly would have. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we'll put a subway maybe down over here then. And then I'm going to temporarily put a subway over here. Um, yes, and then we'll kind of move this in the future. We'll, we'll change the style of it in the future, I mean. All right, subways allow our staff to get around the place easier. 
which means storeroom needs to have a subway next to it. Okay. Like I'm I'm we've got to we've got to make this happen like right now. Um Do I want to keep this I kind of wanted to clear everything out of the way over here anyway. And I should probably put a subway down here too. That's gonna make it so much nicer. People are moving around so much better. How have I taken so long to do this? Oh, I know. Okay, we're gonna move our vet office. And we're gonna move it up here. Here we go, here we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and move this staff room over here. And then we're gonna move a subway right next to it. And maybe we could have it be the cute little bear subway to go with the little monkey. Oh my gosh. I really hope this like completely redoes everything for our zoo. Because this would be so cool. All right. I'm going to put the ATM there. I've got a lot of things I need to move around and improve. However, we're getting there. I'm so proud of us, you guys. I truly am. All right. Somebody has low water. Who, okay, the monkeys are struggling with low water, the snakes are struggling with low water, and uh, yeah, this monkeys and snakes. The snakes are just constantly breeding like nonstop. It's kind of ridiculous. And for the monkeys, can, can I add another water basin? I think that that will take care of things for the monkeys. Also, I should probably make the monkey area bigger. It's $20,000 to buy some land. It's Monday. We probably have the ability to go ahead and take that risk. Probably. People are using the subway! Oh, I'm so happy about that! Should I do it? I'm doing it. We did it! Alright, let's make the monkey enclosure a little bit bigger. Alright, let's change the shape. And this will be really nice for our monkeys. This makes me very happy that we can give them a larger exhibit already. Ta-da! And we can actually add more objects too. Like a leaf pile, so the monkeys can come and play. Ints, 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 ints. And even, like, they already have a trampoline. We can add a water sprinkler for them to be able to come and play with the water sprinkler. And another scent spot that I can actually, yes, horses. We've got horses now. Ints, 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 ints. Everything is just coming up fantastic. All right. Oh, and I haven't even checked like what's in the crisper for a long time now, which is my bad. We definitely need to work on that too. All right, let's put down some more bamboo sprinkled in. The vine trees do a great job of increasing CO2 as well. And then how about we put in one of those cliffs? Because there's a new enrichment item that has everything to do with like cliffs. Yeah, here's the cliffs. Let's put on one of these ones. And then let's see what the monkeys do. Yay, they've got a much better area now. I'm really happy about that. And the other thing we need to worry about is the snakes having a low area. I've been meaning to move some of these snakes for quite a while. Oh, and we need more animal keepers. <laughs> like we're really running low on animal keepers. So I should probably go ahead and open up that position. So let's recruit some new animal keepers. And I probably need to work on making like their zones actually make sense. So Paris here has no zone. So Paris, you're gonna be in charge of these spots for me. And then we'll see if that helps us out. And we also need to hire like a new type of janitor, whatever that means. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to be respectful and recruit new janitors and see how that works out. And you guys, the subways are so cool and the monkeys are here and we can make everything nice over here too. Ah, oh, all right, research hub. I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to expand the theme subways. Oons, oons. And now we can grow bamboo and we can get the jolly ball as a new enrichment item. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I think that we're gonna have a really fantastic, fantastic zoo. And I think it's time to perhaps go ahead and start working on some of the snake things I wanted to do. Or should I just wait for the crisper to really crisp us up something good? Hmm. Hmm. Also, this person, not very good work ethic. Get out of here. And let's come and check the applicants for work ethic pretty high. You're hired. Is this a different type of janitor? That was a different type of janitor. Yay! We finally completed that task. Equal opportunity for all. I've been trying to make sure that that goes ahead and is like taken care of. Phew! 
All right, guys. Lots and lots and lots of stuff happening. Our snakes are having a bazillion babies. I think we could actually put in another little like sneaky snake exhibit somewhere over here just to have a cool set of variants. And then maybe we could get some more fun snake mixes that we could go ahead and like just sprinkle around as decoration. However, I guess we want to also remember that really we want to try getting more- <gasps> A new type of monkey! We want to try getting more new types of animals rather than getting caught up on a lot of small exhibits for the animals we already have. Also, that was a hyena that we could adopt as well. Let's go rescue that hyena. I'm on it. Oops, that's, that's the lion exhibit. There we go. This is awesome. We're finally making it look kind of nice. And we have horses, of course. Oh geez, before we forget, let's go in and let's make sure they have like good food so that they'll go ahead and give us lots and lots of babies. All right, gotta get them carrots in here. My guess is like 20% carrots. And then my guess is like 20%. Oh, 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 oh. no, we need more grains. Need more grains. All right, 40% grains. And then sugar cubes. Ah, uh, sugar cubes fill in the rest. There we go. And we'll tone it down a little bit when it comes to the straw. Boom. Just like that. Even though it was $4,000, we have made our horses happy. Yay! All right, progress! Progress, progress, progress. Ah, so thank you guys so much for joining me. It is still a very chaotic adventure, but I'm really proud about the progress we're making. If you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay very sneakily curious, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.